Y'all, I just tried this new Fenty foundation. You need to watch this review. Not now, but right now. Let's get into it. Hey friends, welcome to my channel, A Dose of Chrissy. If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. I'm so grateful that you all are here with me right now. So today we're gonna be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty powders. I'm so excited and a little blindsided. I didn't even expect her to be coming out with powders so soon. I was really thinking that if she was gonna drop powders, her being Riri, I was thinking if she was going to drop powders that it would be before summer. So like around spring, early spring, I thought she might drop these, but hey, we got an early Christmas, early New Year's presents. So if you're interested in seeing how these look on my face, keep on watching. Also make sure that while you're here, you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when your girl drops a new video and let's get to it. Fenty Beauty dropped their new powder foundations and it claims to be in all the same 50 shades that have originally come out. It also claims to be medium to full coverage, light as air, and gives a flawless filter effect. We gonna see. It also claims to be long wearing, um, give no flashback and is also crease sweat humidity resistant but before we get into going over the foundation I'm gonna go ahead and get my face ready and then we'll get into these I'm back with everything else done except for the foundation I have my concealer on as well as my eyeshadow and brows everything is done and from what I learned the reason that you want to do like your concealer and everything first is because with powder things really don't mix by going on top of it so it's best to have those things done and then go around all of that with your powder foundation so just a little something I learned I want to share with you because you know learn grow glow you know <laughs> Before we jump into it, this is the Fenty Beauty packaging. They have been the same all the way around with their aesthetics and their packaging. So everything just looks sleek, looks like Fenty basically. Here is the packaging for the powder foundation. It still has its original shape like, you know, with all the rest of the um, products, except for the foundation. The foundation is more like an oval. Just want to throw that in there. And let's go ahead and open it up. And it is 9.1 grams or 0 0.32 ounces. So when you open it up, it has a mirror right here and then it gets into the foundation. And you can see the foundation has the FB in there for Fenty Beauty and lift up the foundation. And then it goes into more of a like up close type of mirror situation. And then the powder applicationer right there. For the powder, I want to stick with what it came with, which is the powder applicator. Um, it is pretty thin. Um, I'm surprised it's not a little bit thicker. So I'm assuming that Fenty Beauty will come out with like a whole pack of these if people do like using them. So what I was thinking, I'll use this to apply it on half of the face and then I'll use the Fenty Beauty powder brush, setting brush 170 on the other side. And then we'll just go from there to see what looks better, what gives a better vibe, okay? Okay. And I went to go pick up two shades just because of watching a couple of reviews, they said that your original shade is a little bit darker than what it should be. I learned that sometimes powder foundations can be darker than a liquid foundation. So um, we're gonna put 410 off to the side. We're just going to try it out and see what happens and this is actually my first time using a powder foundation so i am really excited to try this out and to be trying it with you guys okay so i'm just going to go ahead and rub into the powder foundation swirl it around in circles pick up a good amount of product and i'm going to start right here on my cheek
I went ahead and tried both colors on my face. I tried 420 over here and 410 over here. And I had already took off 420 just because I thought it looked a little too dark from what I was going for. I might keep it just because it might work for a um, summer shade. But over here, this is the 410 and I think that it's like perfect. Perfect shade. So I went ahead and took it off over here and I'm going to go ahead and apply some more primer. And this is the Soft Matte Primer from Fenty Beauty. But I'm using Soft Matte because this is a powder foundation. And I have an oily T-zone but then dry rest in my face so I didn't want to completely mattify it. I did the powder on this side but with the applicator. Now I'm going to try it with my powder brush on this side. So let's go ahead and check it out. So just like off the bat, I can tell that there's product on there, but I don't want to use this. I'm not really liking it. So I'm going to go back in with the applicator. I just go ahead and use that all over the face again. And I will have to do a little bit of blending right here from when I took off my foundation. And I am going to bring the foundation just over the concealer that I did just a little bit just to bring some color in. And I'm not going to do any contour with this look just because I want to see the foundation itself. All right, y'all, so this is the full face of the Fenty powder. So like I mentioned, um, I did go in with 420, but it did seem a tad bit too dark. This might be a good summer shade, but for right now, it's just a little too dark for the winter. Then on the other side of my face, I went in with the shade 410, and that seemed perfectly. So it looks like the claims are true that if you go in with your actual shade, it might be too dark. But I would suggest that you try it out for yourself just like I did. So I went ahead and used the sponge that came with the packaging. But also I tried to use the powder on the powder brush on one side and I really didn't like it. So instead what I did, I went with the applicator, the sponge applicator all over my face. And then I brushed back into the foundation with this brush right here just to treat it like a setting powder. But you really don't need a setting powder because it's powder. <laughs> And overall, I would have to say that um, it is medium to full coverage. I don't think I got like the full kind of coverage that I would from a foundation. So I believe that when it says medium to full coverage for all, I think that it is. Um, if you're going in like for full coverage with the powder, you would really have to, I think, like swipe around the pan quite a bit and then go back maybe even go over your face a couple times just to get that real full effect but it's definitely giving me medium to full coverage um just because i do see some dark spots still there and i didn't do any like spot concealing just because i don't do it when i do the foundation because it literally knocks everything out so if i was going to be doing this to powder again i definitely would do some spot concealing and overall this powder is giving like a supernatural look a look that's like more for on the go you don't want to spend time doing your foundation letting it dry um but we are going to wear this for a little bit and i'll come back with some final thoughts hey y'all i am back it's been a couple of hours what i can say overall is that the powder foundation definitely hits different than liquid foundation i mean my face i mean i feel like you know i still have oil around the t-zones a little bit 
but honestly I mean my face just looks matte it just looks dry um I'm looking at my camera looking at myself just to like wow even looking in my mirror um yeah, oily T-zone, but other than that, like, the oil isn't even that bad. It isn't even that bad, you guys. So, again, this is medium to full coverage because I still can see some, like, uh, dark spots that I have on my face. But other than that, I would rate this foundation, I want to say, 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if it really did go full coverage, but it's medium to full. And you can try and build up on it, but I feel like your face might look a little too cakey, a little too powdery. So I I would say this for more of a, you know, not doing too much kind of look, you know, skin but no skin type of look. Or if you do like medium to full coverage, then this powder foundation is for you. So I definitely recommend that you try it out. And again, I do suggest that if you're gonna buy this foundation, buy it in your buy it in your shade, and then buy it a shade lighter. Because like I did, I bought 420 online on Sephora, and then after watching some reviews, I was like, oh, I don't know. So I went ahead and went to uh, the Sephora store and got a shade lighter. So what I have on again is 410. That's what I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see that. But my original liquid foundation shade is 420. So I picked up 420 as well. I put it on. I really wasn't feeling it because it just, it looked too dark. But this 410 looks absolutely perfect. It is long wearing. That's what I can say. I've had this on for a couple hours now. Uh, probably like three, five hours now. Family has already gone. And um, I had a lot of compliments. They all thought, oh, you know, your face looks flawless. Your face looks good. And yeah, I am really loving it. I would definitely continue to use this foundation. Some of the claims was that it was crease, sweat, and humidity resistant. Also, no flashback, long wearing, and gives this flawless filter effect and light as air, medium coverage. So yes to medium coverage, yes to it being light as air, definitely, and that's on the back of the packaging. Definitely really light when you're putting it on your face. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel um like it's just filling up your pores i believe it's non-comedogenic but um i would double check on that it does give a flawless filter effect that's really all i could say it definitely gives that flawless look just like a translucent powder i would kind of say but more covering more coverage it is long wearing i know i've had it on for five hours but like i said I usually get a little bit oily in T-zone, as you can see, but other than that, I mean, I still look pretty good. And creasing, I really can't say I notice any creasing. I'm not sure where creasing would really show up. Also, I don't believe there is any uh, flashback. I have taken pictures of this. Um, I haven't taken pictures of the in the dark with this foundation, and I really don't think it's necessary because when I took a picture, if you go check on my Instagram, you'll see the picture that I posted. Everything just looks red and set to go ready in place looks just flawless so again i'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10 and after going over all the claims this powder foundation is definitely for the community for everybody i'm loving it i'm loving this foundation i really hope that you guys enjoyed this review and if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up to help this video get out to everybody comment down below any questions maybe i didn't answer anything that you wanted to ask me comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next dose of chrissy deuces